Dogs are right. We're dialed in, buddy. Don't change a thing. Hey, you ain't buried in horse manure after all. Looking pretty good. You're the ones looking good. Oh, uh, hadn't been easy, Harry. I'll guarantee to you. But this bitch is ready to run. I can't tell you how much we all appreciate you letting us use the car, Rowdy. Now, I told you about this, Rowdy. Harry's got some new driver, and he needs a car just to turn a couple of laps. I told you it was Harry Hogg that asked us personally as a favor. Who is this driver? Tells me you've been running open wheels. That's right. And now you just want to up and drive NASCAR. That's right. What do you know about stock car racing? Well, watch it on television, of course. You've seen it on television? ESPN. The coverage is excellent. You'd be surprised at how much you can pick up. I'm sure I would. Look, this may not be the best time for you to run this car. Was there some problem? No, sir. Y'all go right ahead, but you've been this bitch the least little bit. I'm gonna tear your balls off. Yeah, would you mind very much? Oh, yes. Didn't you hear what that man said? Now, hold on a minute. Don't you think we ought to talk? What, about how I'm gonna run? Sure. About how you've managed to live as long as you have. Look, I ain't gonna let you race this car. Mm-mm. What's going on? He's had second thoughts. You said you'd look at him. I've looked at him. I paid $2,500 to use this track today, Harry. Forget it. He needs a brand name like Exxon or Richard Petty. Well, I know a damn race driver when I see one. What's going on, Harry? Is this happened or what? Do us all a favor, Harry. <laughs> Let me drive. I won't make a fool out of you. Tunnel turns real tricky. Now, whether it's hot or cold, it gets as slick as a button. Then you're gonna slip and slide and slam yourself into the wall before you know it. So just take her easy. I'm dropping the hammer. No, you're not. Better if he cracked up the car. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah? 31 flat. That's good enough to take the pole in the last race here. Hell, I thought this was gonna be a joke. You never drove a stock car before? Yeah, sprints mainly. What's your name? Buck Brotherson. What's yours? Cole Trickle. It's damn nice to meet you, Buck. Damn nice to meet you, too, Cole. You old unlucky son of a bitch in that tunnel turn, so that car was way out of shape. Well, you think it was luck? Let's do it again. 
You run good? Thank you. Now go get your own car. We'll see how you do in the crowd. So, how come you don't stick to open wheels? Lost my ride. After two championships and seven straight wins, you were fired. I lost my ride. Doesn't matter. I'd have quit regardless. Why is that? Wasn't going anywhere. Well, where do you want to go? Indianapolis. But well, you can't win an Indy without a great car. My name's not Andretti or Unser. On the other hand, stock cars are stock cars. Pretty much the same. Hey, there's nothing stock about a stock car. Look, I'm not trying to insult you. All I'm saying is stock cars are built to run equal. Isn't that right? So the rule books say. So I don't have to worry about getting beat by another car. In other words, all you have to worry about is getting beat by other drivers. Yeah. You build me a car, and I'll win Daytona next year.